so guys in this video we will enumerate this SNMP service and we will see with it uh, using this nmap so i have already wired a router running and i have set this uh, configuration and i have I did the small mistake in the previous video uh, what that is you need to first commit and then save the configuration uh, previously I saved and then committed uh, it means that our service did not run when it restarted so that's why I committed and saved this so you make sure you type the commands again and then commit and save so now we are going to scan this uh, uh, virtual machine using this nmap minus n for no dns and minus p and for don't check live host and then minus s uh, capture u so sorry so this su scan is for udp scan since snmp is the udp port we need to specify the minus su and now i want to specify the ip address which is 192.168.0.10 which i have set in the previous video all right udp scan requires this sudo privileges uh, type the sudo okay this udp scan takes very long time uh, i have i don't have that much patience so what i do is i will specify the port numbers uh, to scan which is the 161 for snmp uh, service that is the default snmp port uh, that snmp service is running on you can see uh, it's 161 UDP it, the SNMP port is open on this machine so this is the basic information how you get using this end uh, map uh, now what I'm going to do is I want to perform the end map scripts and map scripting engine so to do that let's say locate dot NSC uh, I will grip for SNMP so there are these scripts SNMP brute and login info interfaces so these are the properties of this uh, virtual machine we get the net stat networking uh, port information and processes which process are running and win32 services share software and users so these all will be performed on this machine if you type minus sc so let me type minus sc for the default scripts so all these scripts will be performed so what this scripts does is it will gather the information based on the community string public so these all we check for public string and then if the string matches uh, with this public one then they will get the information if you change it if i change this read only string to some other say nickel then our scripts will not work So it takes some time. So we we have got so much information. We have got the MAC address, and there are so many softwares or like services installed on that Linux machine. As you can see, OpenSSH server and OpenVPN Net Tools, and and so much. You can see the these are all the. Uh, softwares and the services running inst running and installed on that uh, virtual machine so if you can see these are the win32 softwares you can see this script has been executed which is win32 software and these are the softwares that are running and installed on the system and you can also get the system description which is Viata version okay 6.5 r1 you can also get the system uptime so these are all the processes that are running on that uh, virtual machine you can see this snmp processes we can get all the processes using this uh, community string so you can get the all the networking information using netstat you can see what are the ports open you can see udp port 161 is open since it's on that virtual machine we got this 0000, 000 which is stands for all interfaces uh, 161 is open so you can see interfaces you can see the loopback interface and ethernet 0 loopback have 127.0.1 and this ip address and subnet mask and we have got this basic snmp information so this is all you perform about this minus sc these scripts only work when the read only string is public so now 
what we are going to do is we will change this read only string to some other else so let me type this so let me change this public to i need to uh, okay first let me delete uh, service snmp community public community let's type tab a uh, public so i am going to delete the public string so we no longer have the read only string public so what i will do is i will set another string as a public which is not uh, another read only string with say nickel set service sn mp community now i will say nickel as a uh, read only string authorization read only now if i commit this and save this so it has saved now there is no public string in this uh, 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 this snmp service there is a nickel string and the uh, private string sorry now what we are going to do is we will run the same command which we have run previously uh, using the default scripts now i bet we will not get the previous information because we have changed this uh, public string sorry read only string so as you can see there is a basic information we got the net snmp and the mac address so this is the basic information we did not get whole information as like previous because we have changed the uh, read only string from public to nickel so one more uh, nsc script i want to discuss is snmp brute force you can brute force these community strings using this snmp brute.nsc so let me uh, show you what this script contains and what are the important arguments you need to give the, to this script so there is a lot of information let me pipe to ls and you can see here is the syntax there will be syntax okay usage nmap su script you need to specify the snmp brute and the target and the script args is equals to snmp brute dot communities db and here this value uh, should be the world list we need to specify the list of community strings to try so you can prepare a world list containing some important strings and you can try those uh, using this uh, syntax so let me keep this syntax on now i am going to perform this brute force so let me take remove this sc and let's say script uh, snmp brute uh let's say script arguments is equals to so now i have already prepared a small list so that is the high public and private now what we can do is i will say uh, i will add another word that is nickel which is which we have set that as a Uh, read only string recently so these are the four strings i want to try now let's say home so i think we are good to go we are specifying the script snmp brute this uh, ip address and the arguments is equals to sorry sorry i did not specify this snmp communities dot db right so snmp snmp brute dot communities db so 
so now let's run this command so it's taking somewhat long time Alright guys, so now it's been 2 minutes and I don't know why it's not progressing Ok, I am going to end this video now But I don't know why it's not working, I have done everything correctly So I am going to stop it now So once you try this SNMP brute and uh, We also use some more tools This is not only the tool to This is not only the script to brute force There are some other tools as well Ok, we will see them in the later videos so that's all for this video i hope you have understood this uh, snmp enumeration the default scripts and what information we can get from the read only strings if there are the default public and private so so many routers comes with these uh, strings as default as public and private that's why we can get some even basic information from these uh, read only strings